COVID-19 pandemic shifting away from the headlines a bit, but the potentially deadly virus still a force to be reckoned with. Global cases now up to 7.3 million, with deaths at 414 plus thousand, while recoveries sit at 3.6 million. For what's happening on the local scene, our Kelsey Johnson spoke with Deputy Chief Medical Officer Dr. Delon Brennan. Police identification standpoint, we are um, fairly stable. We haven't had any new cases in the Bahamas for approximately four days now, um, and. Our numbers per week are significantly declining. So as long as we continue on this trajectory, we feel as though we have the situation fairly in hand as it comes when it comes to local community transmission. We will continue with our contact tracing exercises um, that continues. So as persons either come into country and or identified via cases or contacts of current cases, we continue to monitor them and make sure that they are adhering to social distancing practices um, and that they know what is expected of them during that time. We have had the opportunity to close our um, our largest quarantine facility because of a change in policy. So we're no longer requiring Bahamian residents, citizens, or uh, homeowners who travel into country to quarantine in a facility, but we, we do continue to monitor them from the Ministry of Health side of things to make sure that there is no development of symptoms. So it's still an ongoing and an active process, um, but even in that process, we've noticed that our numbers um, have stabilized and we are looking forward to continuation in that same way. The latest dashboard released yesterday shows that we have about 25 active cases and 67 recovery cases. Are we seeing an increase in those numbers? Yes. So our we are seeing an increase in our recoveries um, and a decline in our active cases. So we have very few individuals who have required hospitalization over the past few weeks. So that number continues to decline. Our active cases are going down as recoveries go up. So um, as persons are retested and are no longer shedding virus, they are added to the, um, to the list of those who've recovered. Um, and so because we're not accumulating new cases, our active case numbers will continue to go down in that same vein. With countries like Italy, London, um, they're all opening their borders now for international travel. However, they're saying that those persons who travel in, within their country will have to be detained for two weeks or take a test to make sure that they um, are negative. Uh, is the Bahamas going that same route? Currently, we still maintain the, the posture that persons who are traveling to the Bahamas um, need to be tested. So. Um, the majority of persons who come into country are tested ahead of time. There are a small percentage of uh, persons who are unable to access tests. So there are some countries where, uh, much like the Bahamas, if you're not symptomatic and or if you are not a close contact of a case or, um, or a healthcare worker, you just don't have access to tests. So a lot of those who are traveling back home are, don't have any symptoms. They've been well the entire time. They've been quarantined. Um, so they're not a priority in those other countries to be tested. So some of them do arrive without tests. So what we end up doing is still placing those individuals into quarantine and the deciding on whether they need to be tested or not um, once that quarantine uh, period has been completed. So for right now, we maintain the stance that everyone who comes into country needs to be tested. Um, and for those who are unable to do so, they do still require quarantine. Today is day three of the domestic part of the border being open. Are, you, are health officials worried about seeing an increase with those persons traveling from the family islands into New Providence? And we know we had a number of cases here in New Providence with persons traveling from New Providence into the family islands. Um, well, I think we're cautiously optimistic about it. We know that those islands where we've continued to have um, no cases, uh, if there's no community transmission that's going on, then they don't present a threat um, to those, you know, to either other con other islands where we don't have transmission or to New Providence or Grand Bahama or Bimini where we do have, where we have had transmission. But again, the fact that we continue with testing 
around our contacts um, on those islands where we did have community transmission and we don't really see a large number of cases um, and we're not picking up a significant number of cases in those islands is why we think it's appropriate to continue with our um, our opening of our domestic borders that would allow us to have domestic travel without um, a large amount of concern. But we do, again, it's optimistic, but we, we're we not um, at a point where we believe that we can just let down our guard. So we continue to monitor and our health system will continue to make sure we look for anyone who presents with symptoms so that we can do appropriate contact tracing around it.